too much of going on. Here's two of our batteries. We've got two here, two underneath the back seat, two underneath behind that where the tire, spare tire would go. Uh, we use a Curtis controller from the United States, the Delta Q charger. Uh, batteries do come from China. They're absorbed glass mat gel batteries, so that means if you drop it off the building, it'll just kind of go blah instead of having any crash issues. Um, they are standard 500 compliant. They have DOT glass all around, DOT seat belts, and just all around really good car. Our main applications are to universities, fleets, cities, municipalities, uh, water treatment facilities, any place where you use a petrol powered vehicle right now, you can replace it with a low speed electric vehicle that runs for about a penny and a half a mile. So why don't you turn that on, okay? Then it's got a creep, but the hill brake has to be down for you to be able to go. But once you do, we added the creep so that it's more normal to drive. When we were with the other DC powered engines, we didn't have the creep, which provided a real jerky performance. But this one drives like a real Very car. Very smooth. It's extremely smooth. We got front disc, rear drum brakes. Um, you won't have to drag your leg outside like with some electric cars to stop the vehicle. And we're all about safety. Like I said, DOT glass all around, not just on the windshield as required by standard 500. Makes corners good. You're hell on the golf course, I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I have two golf carts at my place, and that's what uh, my wife and I have. The place we live is down the hill a little bit in the trees by the creek. Right. From where we park our vehicles. And so we run the golf carts back and forth all the time. And you do get a break on the insurance here because it is such a real car instead of just a neighborhood electric vehicle. Yeah, when we had the DC powered engine, we'd get up to like 25, 27 miles an hour and then it would, it would go back down. Then it would go back up, then it would go back down. With the AC powered, how we do it is, is we set the RPMs to adjust to 25 miles an hour. So we're able to adjust the RPMs. We can make these vehicles go 35 well, miles an hour. Well, 26, that's yeah. right then. But this, one, this one's set for, I think, like 28 or 29 miles an hour. But we can have them go 35 miles an hour, but then we have to classify them as, quote, off-road vehicles. Because on an AV, you can, a NEV, you can only do... 25. Because there's no airbag, that's correct. Yeah. And so this this shell is actually a Daihatsu, is that it? It's a Daihatsu move chassis. They've sold over a million with an IC engine in them, internal combustion engine in them over in Asia. What we do is we just take delivery of the chassis and we put our own stuff in it. It's uh, got AC powered motor. It's got 6 to 12 volt batteries. And because we want to